Hey peeps, what is up? I am in a new space <laughs> and I kind of just want to talk about that for a minute. I'll give you guys a proper tour later, but in this uh, video, I just wanted to kind of give you a long story short version of how we got here and um, also kind of tell you some adjustments. Like I'm only one week in and I wanted to share like some takeaways, some adjustments that had to uh, be made in order to operate in this space. So. First of all, the long story short of it, my favorite coffee shop is, uh, was expanding. The owner, I love her to death, and she was expanding, and she's making a village with like restaurant and bar and tapas, like in like stores and events. I just had to be a part of it, even though on paper it did not make sense. Like this space is smaller than my home studio. I can do like get away with more at my home studio. It's obviously at home. There's the benefits of that, um, but. It's, even though it didn't make perfect sense, I need it, like I just knew I had to be here. And so, <laughs> I could probably go into more of it later, but that's the gist. So, some takeaways, some things, some adjustments <laughs> of, of this space. The first like adjustment, like learning curve, I guess, it would be the what comes here and what stays at home kind of dilemma. I'm running into a lot of it, like some things I've had to just buy two of, like it's just been that problematic because I'll take things here and then I'll leave it and then I'll go home and then I'll need it and then vice versa. So that's been an adjustment. Um, and I'm still learning like what things would operate better here and what things I just simply need two of, which is kind of annoying, but also just way easier than having to figure that out because I do still operate the home studio and I, you know, have a bit of a studio in operating, you know, being in the process of being set up here. Um, so it's an adjustment. Uh, another thing about like the here versus there is like what happens here versus what happens there. Um, since that studio is still in operation, like what do I shoot there? And then in turn, what do I shoot here? So I think I won't know that until I get further in because I'm only a weekend at the moment. So, and, and the backdrop system, like the whole photo part of this, um, situation isn't really set up and running yet so I'm looking like behind you guys because that's where my backdrop system has been installed and then I'm waiting for seamless uh, papers to come in I'm getting the 53 inches I feel like that's a good size and it's pretty much the best I can do here <laughs> um, and so that's you know just kind of learning the here versus there dilemma like and then whenever I get my storage set up I think a lot of stock and product photos will be shot here and uh, with that means majority of my props need to be transferred here as well. So that might be where I run into bigger issues because um, props back and forth are kind of a bit of a deal. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get to that. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll figure out a system for it. The second major like adjustment in learning curve is the noise. And the noise is like, just the big umbrella category of it all. So one is like the actual ambient noise. There is of course a lot of it because I'm in a coffee shop, I'm in a warehouse with a bunch of other business owners and um, the actual like just ambient noise while working, I enjoy and I um, it kind of reminds me of, there's this Noisly I think is the app, I'll link it if I can remember the URL, but I would go to that and then turn on coffee shop as background noise when I was working from home because sometimes home was too quiet and I didn't want music, I just wanted background noise, right? And so I work well with the noise as far as that goes. Um, and when I do really need to like super like focus or whatever, I've got the Bose like noise cancellation headphones and these things will drown out all the noise. It'll drown out the AC unit. It drowns all of it out. So if I do need to just like, which I have already had like an editing session where I just needed to like completely zone in, um, those work wonders. Now the other like side of the noise uh, dilemma is like how much noise I make. So like I talk a lot, all right, to myself in theory, I guess it's like basically I'm just talking to myself, but I'm talking to you guys in the future. I'm talking to my Instagram stories a lot. And I didn't realize how often I did that until I'm here. And now I'm like super conscious of when I'm talking to a camera. <laughs> so it's just a little weird. It's just an adjustment um, that I just obviously have to get over. That's why I'm doing this video here now. Um, some situations I'm just trying to learn like who is when and in the house of when people are operating and what they're doing because it might be easier to just operate when they're not around and other things I just suck it up and do it like some stories like I'm just gonna suck it up and do it but when it comes to video pro uh, video, you know production like this I'm trying to do them when not too many people are around the office now 
Um, in the future, it might be easier because currently um, the situation, since I'm here from the ground up kind of of this whole process, um, the walls aren't fully finished. So uh, they don't extend all the way up and then there's no like insulation in between. And so we do hear everything going on on this level. And so that's part of it. So once that all happens and gets finished, it probably will be easier to operate um, as normal. So the next major adjustment is lighting um my whole my favorite like photography artificial lighting setup which i've shown in videos in the past i'll probably have to do an updated video of that um is not going to work here because i don't have enough space to make that work so my just the gist of what it is at home is a it's a six by or 6.6 .6 foot square scrim with you know diffusion fabric scrim it's huge and standing on uh, light stands right and then on the other side of that is a strobe and um, then that thing has a shoot through like diffusion, diffusion umbrella kind of thing, shoot through umbrella and then all of that faces the wall which then bounces through all of that and it gets diffused so much that by the time all of that beautiful light splashes onto whatever I'm photographing, it's like perfect and I love it and now I miss it. <laughs> But so we're trying to figure out what to do here. I did play with my strobes at one point and it was described by more than one person as lightning because what I have here is actually a window that goes into the rest that like sees into the rest of the warehouse. So when I did try out my strobes um, the other day, it, I went back downstairs for something and it was described as lightning and people were like, oh, I saw that happening. I was like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, I can't be like that much of a distraction. So. <laughs> Um, so a couple things came to mind, like I do still have strobes here just in case because I do prefer them over constants um, for shooting portraits. I can manage with stock and product with uh, constant light, but I still prefer strobes if possible. So what I do have in mind is like maybe blocking the window and that should help um, with the light lightning effect in the warehouse. So. Yeah, we're, we're working on that. However, I do have this video light that I'm testing out to see if I can make it work for most of my photography. Once the backdrops come in and stuff, I'll be able to properly start testing it for headshots and things like that. So it is an adjustment to completely redo my entire setup and how I work. So that's been a learning curve, but it's been challenging, but in a fun way, because I've been like kind of set in how I do my, my studio at home that it's like, it is what it is. I don't need, you know, don't, don't mess with it. It ain't broken. And so now that I'm here, it's a challenge to figure out how to make this space work. Cause just for your information, there's no natural light. Like I'm in a warehouse completely closed off, no natural light. So, um, that's been, it's been a deal guys. <laughs> uh, two more quick things that I wanted to mention about like my adjustments for this is, um, food. So when you work from home, you have the luxury of just like, snacking and eating whatever you want whenever you're hungry whenever you don't even realize you might not even be hungry you're just eating all the time so it might be a good thing that i don't have that option here anymore but it's also like been a struggle because i'm used to having lunch and i don't want to like stop work completely leave i mean sometimes it's nice to do that but i would like to just be able to have a quick lunch and continue working and not like have it be a huge interruption of my my day right so I will be getting my fridge. I have a mini fridge in my home studio and I think it's going to serve me much better here. So that's already in the works that's happening this week. The last adjustment is carrying like way too much stuff to and from every day. So I have three bags. I've got like a purse, my camera bag, and my backpack with like accessories to my camera plus like my laptop and all that jazz. I'm taking that home and to this office back and forth every day so i'm looking into like a kind of all-in-one camera laptop bag that can fit all of the things in it so i don't have to take three bags in the car out of the car up the stairs here and then back down and then like back and forth and it's stuff that i definitely want to make sure i always have on me because i don't want to leave my camera gear here because i never know when i'm shooting like on location somewhere or when something the mood strikes at home because obviously that studio is still functioning so i need to be able to have my my camera gear on me at all times that's important so i'm going to be i've been already kind of researching but if you've seen my like 
worst purchases video or something in photography or like mistakes. I don't know what I titled that freaking video. I'll put it somewhere. But if you've seen that, then my biggest one that I've spent like wasted so much money on is always camera bags because you just don't know like if it's gonna work for you until you have it in your hands. And then when you have it, you're like, uh. And even when you're at like a store and you could see it and play with it, you don't have all your, your gear. You can't like put it all in there and test it out. So it's kind of, it's a struggle because I don't wanna make yet another regretful purchase of a camera bag. So I'm doing as much research as I possibly can this time to make sure that I get the bag that's going to work for me, so. Well, with all of that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video and I will resume my three for Thursdays. I just need to get a little more set up here so I know when and how to record and edit and all of that, you know, in the new flow of things. I'm still learning the new flow of things. It, it doesn't, I don't even know. I'm like, things are crazy. So <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you like to keep up with all this. I wanted to do like full on vlogs of this whole process, but this happened so fast guys. Like we're just here suddenly. <laughs> so I will make a few more videos like about my space. I'll give you a tour of what I want to do. Um, and of like the changes and things I want to make. And then I'll give you the final tour when I feel like most of it's pretty put together. So, and then uh, and maybe after that, I'll give you more of like an update of like how I've adjusted to it, like what works really well here versus there in case any of you were in the same situation where you want to keep, you know, your home office or home studio operating and yet you also want to space out of the house and you were like kind of what is that going to be like like what would make that easier so i'm going to try and keep these videos like this topic going a little bit alongside of my normal content so i'll see you guys wherever i see you and that, that that's about it okay bye